Hi guys. <laughs> In this video, after how many months? Two or three months, we're gonna be talking about the outside temperature display. Finally! You know, I've promised to you I'm going to do that video, but believe me, it was freaking, but freaking cold uh, in my country, and uh, that's why it had to come uh, to the delay. So, in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to mount your temperature display and what do you need uh, for your car if you don't have one and how you install uh, the outside temperature display. So, stay with me. We start from this and go to this. If you have never had this display in your car before, in order to do this job, you will be needing a display, wiring harness, a sensor, and if you have never had the, the whole speed sensor, you will have to buy one and to mount it in the central clock. My advice to you is that if you don't get on the wiring harness these, then don't buy that wiring harness, because you will never be able to complete uh, the job alone. At first, you will have to remove the instrument cluster for the display to be mounted. You will have to buy two screws for the display to screw it in the dash. Here, this one, you cannot make uh, mistakes. Uh, you have here the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, as well as here. You have also, let me just see here. Here, no way you can make a mistake. This plug goes for the speed sensor. Good. The brown wire is the ground. Blue gray for illumination. Red, uh, black is the positive, as well as the plug for the temperature sensor. Again, you cannot make any mistake. You see this indentation here. Number, number, number two, number one. Here, number two, number one. No way you can make mistake. Also, one more thing for all of you uh, that uh, have never had the, the display before. You will have to remove the symbol track from the right side of the cluster to cut the part covering uh, the part predicted for the temperature display. As you unhook uh, your dash, this is what you are going to see. You will have to remove the symbols from the right side of uh, the dash in order to cut out the blue part of the track here or you will never be able to see the numbers on the display. Rotate the cluster. At the bottom you will see the track. You can use a fine screwdriver I decided to use the caliper for this purpose. Gently pull the track towards you and there.
This is the picture you're going to see. Use scissors to cut the blue part of the track. Afterwards, put the symbols back into the cluster. Once you have finished that job, you will have to put the wiring harness in to connect it with the display and to get everything back as it was before. And now, one thing that you will find nowhere, I believe, and that thing is extremely, and I repeat, extremely important, the grommet, the rubber around the vacuum tube. You will have to cut it out in order for the wiring harness to lead it to, to the fuse box. Be extra careful in order not to cut out the vacuum tube. The next step is to cut out the grommet on the fuse box in order to trace the wiring harness inside the fuse box. After you have connected the speed sensor, now you will have to connect the ground as well as the illumination and the positive. The ground is no problem, any part of your car chassis. As well as the connection for the sensor, which you will have to lead to the fuse box. The positive and the light for the display are. The positive, red black wire, you will have to connect to the fuse 6 and the blue gray wire, the illumination, you can connect to the wire either on the fuse 8 or you can remove the stereo and connect it on the screw there if the cable on your wiring harness allows you to. The last part of the job is to connect the sensor to the fuse box. The sensor starts from the bumper, so you will have to remove your license plate. As you do, remove the round grommet. You will have to drill it with a 9mm drill because of the sensor. You will be needing a screw 4 times 10 millimeters to screw in the sensor on the bumper after you lead it by the left fender. And you will need to drill two more holes for the sensor to trace it to the fuse box in order to connect it to its female connection. One more thing I want to show you is that uh, this lid here can't go through the hole and that's why it's going to be necessary to remove it. Take a fine screwdriver and spread one part of the lid and uh, you can hold it with your nail, both sides and there. As you hear that sound, now remove the lid and remember which wire goes where because the numbers on the male and the female must uh, match as well. Ground is always ground. So now you have more space and you can push the cable in through the holes as well as through the fuse box. As you do. Put the plastic lid on again, just push it till the end and just press the both sides of the lid together and you're good to go.
And now at the end, something I always like to say is what happens as the female takes off her makeup and the male her, his underpants. That's called moment of truth. Yes! So my dear ones, if you enjoyed this video, then please don't click uh, the button skip ad. It is going to help me a lot. And till the next video, happy Mercedesing. Bye.